Hey folks, welcome to the 10th world. Today I'm going to be showing off some new items in armor from the Cave and Cult of the Wolf introduction. In order to build these new items and access these new weapons, we're going to need five items. You're going to need two trophies, Fenris hair and Fenris claws. All of these things can be found in the caves when they release in about two weeks from the release of this video. I am playing on a public test branch, which is how I got access to these items, and you can as well, as long as you promise to back up your saves. But without further ado, allow me to present to you the Fenris item set. We'll tuck those away for a second and show those off a little bit later, but this is a new set of armor. Uh, built from Fenris hair and Fenris claws, as well as the uh, trophy of a Fenris cultist. All of these found in the caves in the upcoming expansion. You will be able to craft this uh, armor set, and this is armor set has a new uh, blessing. You can see up there the Fenris blessing is currently in effect. This armor makes you quick on your feet so that you can pass through fire and your fists feel the power of the beast. Damage modifier gives you resistance versus fire and you get unarmed plus 15. Now, why would you get unarmed plus 15? Well, let's check that out. With, uh, with this item set, there is a new set of claw-based weapon that allows you to uh, add a bit more punch, a bit more oomph to your uh, unarmed damage, uh, giving yourself the ability to move swiftly and strike quickly to your enemies. This is a pretty cool effect, and I'm really excited they added it into the game. The last time we saw ourselves here reviewing a new armor set and checking it out, we also uh, hypothesized that they might do something like this, add an armor set that buffs your unarmed attack. I think that this is a really fun, really cool addition to the game, and I think that it's going to be really exciting to get this weapon set for Brawlheim. Um, or rather, even just this armor set for uh, challenges like that, or even just duking it out with friends with unarmed, or even trying to tackle big old Yagi boy. Let's go over the details. Each armor piece gives you plus 3% movement speed. This is the first armor that is giving us positive movement speed, but as a result, its armor is a little bit lower than what you'd be finding at the silver tier and the iron tier. The uh, Fenris coat, as well as the uh, leggings, all give you 10. And then the, the hood also gives you a solid 10. And I'm getting the extra uh, one armor from my, my uh, coat right now. And it does give you uh, resistance versus frost from the coat, so you don't need uh, anything there. And it is only the full set effect that gives you uh, fire resistance as well. So here you're rocking cold and fire resistance. Excuse me, not cold damage, but just just the... Uh, no, no, it is re re resistance versus frost. Uh, which I think is different than cold damage. But, uh, you know, we'll get back to that. Leave a comment in the uh, below if you know the difference between frost and cold damage. if Or if they are indeed the same. Um, but in order to uh, craft uh, each of these items, you will need to uh, get a significant amount of Fenris hair and a decent amount of Fenris claws for the uh, Flesh Rippers. What we can do here is go ahead and turn on uh, build mode here, and I am gonna show you the specifics of each one. For each of the armor pieces, you are going to need 20 Fenris hair as well as some wolf pelts. Uh, that is going to be a significant amount of cave exploration, but uh, after a few caves, uh, you should be able to have a decent amount. And we're gonna just scroll down to the hood as well. And the hood also requires 20 Fenris hair, but it also does require a cultist trophy. Um, that is going to be a little bit more of a challenge, and I did actually leave that out of the video that I recorded of me exploring the caves, so I'm going to let uh, everyone here uh, just experience that for themselves. I'm not going to be displaying that or showing that off on my channel, at least for a little bit. 
But overall, you will need 60 Fenris hairs in order to craft the full set, and in order to craft the Flesh Rippers, you will need 6 Fenris claws, 10 hair, and 10 silver. It is two-handed, um, but it does give you a decent slash and a third weapon in the game that has a high backstab multiplier. Uh, this is pretty exciting as uh, some of our other uh, weapons only give a times three backstab and the parry bonus on it is also the highest that I have seen in a while. Times six parry bonus. So uh, again, uh, a really nice uh, two-hander to be toting around, giving yourself a nice parry bonus if you are in a pinch and you need to parry. But I think the added movement speed will allow you to outmaneuver your opponents at walking speed or even just a light tap or sprint. Allows you to quickly maneuver around. You can see just how quickly I'm moving. I hope it's not too shaky or jarring. But uh, just a, that 9% movement speed, I mean, let's just talk about what Ikethir can give you. The Ikethir buff itself does not actually boost your movement speed, but rather the Ikethir buff only reduces your stamina usage. So this is the first positive movement speed increase that we have seen in the game, and it's going to be interesting to see how much it affects combat, even if you choose not to use the claws. This still might be a decent armor set just for maneuvering with archery. Uh, or anything else. The ad gear, I could definitely see myself wanting to outrun my opponents while I poke at them at only the most opportune times. So we'll have to check it out. All right, folks, that is all I have for today. If you're interested in watching me explore the caves and uh, my first initial reactions to some of the enemies inside, apart from the uh, cultist, of course, you can go ahead and check that out in this video here. And if you still haven't watched my speed run of all of Valheim's food, Go do that. It's a fun video. I spent a lot of time on it, and I'm really proud of it. Check it out.